Hi, and welcome to the LPDC Online Form Management System Overview video. In this tutorial, I'll be going over the basic features of the Online Form Management System and showing you how it can help your school district save time, resources, and money. So what is it? Developed at the Summit County Educational Service Center, the Online Form Management System is a customized, web-based application that allows your teachers to fill out all of their LPDC forms directly online, store them, edit them, and then electronically submit them to your LPDC committee. The committee can then access the forms, review them, award credit, and provide feedback directly to your teachers. By doing all this electronically, you eliminate a lot of the tedious paperwork and allow your teachers and committee members to focus on educational goals rather than on menial tasks. So let's take a look. The first page of the site provides your staff with all the basic information and resources regarding the LPDC process that they may need. Colors, logos, and fonts can all be customized to reflect your school's identity. Basic licensure requirements are explained right up front, along with links providing more specific information on using college credits, CEUs, or other equivalent activities to meet your requirements. A list of LPDC members and their email links make it easy for teachers to contact your committee members. Various resources are provided, including printable instructions for using the site, activity logs for keeping track of your hours, and links to ODE's licensure requirements site. A list of meeting dates and times reminds teachers of deadlines for submitting items and allows them to attend meetings if they so desire. The first time a teacher goes to use the site, they must first create themselves as a new user, where they will be prompted to enter in some basic contact information as well as a security question and response in case they forget their password at some point. They can then log in using their full email address along with the password of their choosing and they are taken to their personalized account page. This page allows each teacher not only to fill out any new forms, but also tracks each form they have already filled out. So let's fill out a new IPDB form. They begin by filling out information about the licenses or certificates that they'll be working to renew. A checklist is then presented, which essentially is the rubric that the committee will use when evaluating this form. As they proceed to fill out the form, notice that there are various hints or tips provided to help guide your teachers as they write their goals. A spell check feature has also been provided, which can be very helpful. Once they click the Save button, their form is saved in a database, and they can go back to it, edit it, and when they are ready, submit it to the committee. Your committee members receive access to the admin section of the site in which they can manage all of their forms that are received, as well as keep track of all the registered users. Listed on this page are all the newly submitted forms. Don't worry, all of your older forms are still archived and are easily accessible. They're just no longer cluttering up that page. Your committee can then go in and read through all the forms, evaluate them, and even provide feedback comments. Once the form is reviewed, an email is automatically sent informing the teacher that an action was taken on their submission. The teacher will also see that committee action reflected on their personalized homepage. If their form was accepted, it will be marked in green, and the appropriate amount of credit will be given. If their form was rejected, they have the opportunity to revise and resubmit it to the committee. This video has just scratched the surface of what our online form management system can do for you. For more detailed information, be sure to check out all of our other training videos available online or contact us via the information on your screen. This concludes the overview video.